Hi, Southeast Texas. What's good? I'm Tiffany Murphy. Let's take a look at the good going on in our area while we're trying to flatten the curve of COVID-19. There's a teacher at Legacy and she is using her time when she's not helping her students in distance learning. So she's making face shields. Her 3D printer from school is going around the clock right now in her home. Joy Schwartz serves on an international organization for teachers and she's been to Guam twice this school year to help teachers there. There. So the Guam Department of Education started making these shields for their health professionals and Schwartz got on board too to make them for Southeast Texas health professionals. So far, she tells us she's printed dozens and then put them together. Friday afternoon, she delivered about 50 or so mask extenders in Southeast Texas and she's so far sent off about 20 shields to doctors in New York City. If anyone wants to help with 3D printing or you need a mask extender, you can email her that email address is on the bottom of your screen right now. Another Southeast Texas woman is working hard while she's stuck at home. Rachel Marshall has made nearly 2000 masks. She and her team of sewers are very busy working before the sun comes up to late at night, even shipping the mask to places like Pennsylvania, Illinois, Florida, Michigan and Utah. And then of course, right here in Southeast Texas, friends and family have donated yards of material and quilting squares as well, along with elastic, but they've used their own money for shipping and now they are in need of some more elastic so they can continue making more masks. If you need a mask or you'd like to donate, you can email Rachel at rachelmarshall001 at gmail.com. And a Nederland mom whose husband works at Gulf Healthcare Center in Port Arthur wanted to make sure patients there got a little bit of encouragement while they're under lockdown. She collected donations of books, cards, games, and devotionals. She put it all together in care packages for the residents. Wolf is also a Matilda Jane trunk keeper, and she's donated Matilda Jane packing cubes for nurses and doctors so they can put their scrubs in those cubes and then throw the scrubs straight into the washer when they get home so germs don't spread in their house. And tonight, Wolf is encouraging others to see positivity in the midst of this pandemic. She's encouraging folks on social media to spread positivity by using the hashtag spread love. Speaking of love, I am loving this. The Easter Bunny making special visits all over Southeast Texas. Of course, staying six feet away at all times. The Garth House hosting the fundraiser after his annual golf tournament obviously had to cancel because of COVID. Garth House even had to add an extra day of bunny visits, so they had three days of this happening because it was such a hit. In total, the bunny and his buddy visited more than 100 homes and raised more than $2,000 for the Garth House. And a California family cooped up inside found a fun way to maintain kind of a level of normalcy that they were used to before COVID hit. They built themselves miniature versions of Target and Starbucks inside their house. You know, for a lot of us, a trip to retail stores, just shopping, kind of a part of everyday life. So this couple decided to bring their favorite stores home. They built, painted, printed, even stocked these play sets in just a matter of weeks. They say it's all about keeping a semblance of normalcy in their abnormal time that we're all dealing with. They even made a picture. You can see behind that cash register, their daughter is the employee of the month. Loving that. So have you seen something good? I would love to hear about it. Email me at tmurphy at sbgtv.com or send me a message on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tiffany M reports. Be kind and do good. We'll see you next time.